Hey guys, it's Amy from Hey Auto. We are in the lovely Canmore today. We're gonna go check out the new Hyundai Ionic 5 with plug-in drive and give it a little test drive, see how she runs. So let's go check it out. This is so beautiful. Look at the roof, it's huge. So um, which, which model is this one? This one is basically loaded as far as I know. Uh, this vehicle starts at, I believe it's $45,000 uh, for rear wheel drive with a smaller battery. This one is all wheel drive with a larger battery and is optioned all the way up to 58, which is still quite competitive and still qualifies for the $5,000 federal rebate. Some companies who style longer hoods end up with a lot of extra space in the front so they right. give you a big front storage like Tesla. Yeah. Uh, other companies like Hyundai have decided will style a shorter front hood, right. just what we need, and give you more storage in the back. So, two different ways of doing it. Yeah, um, but there is enough space here for your charger. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very cool. Hmm. Which is a nice place to put it because then you're not digging through your luggage at the back. And so you can hook up a bunch of these to the same power and they will load share. So if one is plugged in, it'll get all the power. Two is plugged in, it'll try to figure it out. And then as you plug in more of them, it will balance out the load. So you can accommodate a larger number of chargers and vehicles with a lesser electrical service by basically sharing it. So it will warm itself up. Um, and warm the battery up and have the car nice and toasty and ready for you to leave and we'll do all of that while attached to your house power so you're not depleting the battery. Right. Uh, and it can do all of that in your garage while the door is closed because no combustion happens. Uh, the other thing is you can do that remotely when it's not plugged in. So if you're, say, skiing up at Sunshine and you're up at the village, you're like, okay, I'm done for the day. I will pull up the app. I'll tell my car, hey, I'm going to be leaving, so I want you to warm up, please. Get on ski out, get down to the parking lot, and get to the car. Your car is warm. Yeah. So that's one nice thing about, about EVs. charge the car with the port, but you can also charge things with the charging port. Yes, this car does come with vehicle to load, so it's an adapter that goes into this uh, charge port, which will give you uh, power. Uh, I think it's basically just a standard household outlet. So it'll give you a 15 amp circuit. I believe it's 15 amp. Anyway, it'll give you a standard household outlet that you can plug things into. So, okay, so you twist that okay. to shift it. So you go into drive? Yeah, there you go. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, It'll show you that. that there. Yep, it's got the heads up display so too. Cool. Oh, that's so wild. Yeah, but it shows you a camera on the side so that you, there's any cyclists or you, you don't know if you're gonna hit the curb right, or not. Right, right, right. Like sideswipe a concrete pillar or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a golf cart because there's literally no sound. A really nice golf cart, obviously. It only really makes that like that little sound right. that you hear. Yeah. It doesn't have to. It just makes that on purpose so that people can hear you coming. Of and course. Move. Well, that, that's been a huge issue, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, yeah, this does do zero to sixty in four seconds. So really? It'll keep up with a normal Model Three. Right. Yeah, right. and you got the automatic emergency braking, front and back, so if you're pulling out. I walked out in front of it while Emil is backing up. Did, did, did it stop? <laughs> it does stop. Okay. It like wow. slams on the brakes, right. like, watch out. That's so cool. <laughs> it does work. <laughs> and on the highway, of course, when you're doing, uh, it, it uh, has adaptive cruise, so right. it keeps the speed to the car in front of you so you don't run into them, and it keeps you centered in your lane, things like that. And isn't there a safety feature that will detect if you're tired and it will give you a little notification saying yep. you seem tired, you should pull over? Attention level. Oh my goodness, that's so cool.
All right, guys, that was so much fun. Thanks so much to Plug and Drive for having us out. I love test driving the Ionic 5. I really want one now. Let us know what your favorite feature of the car is in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Yeah.